Well, good morning to you all. It is Easter Sunday morning and the Christian tradition over many centuries has been to uh, announce the, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. The leader says, the Lord is risen. And the congregation reply, that's right, he is risen indeed. Let me read to you uh, a passage from the New Testament that the Apostle Paul wrote. And he says, Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, by which you are being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas and to the twelve. Then he appeared to more than five hundred brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. For I am the least of the apostles, unworthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. And by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace towards me was not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that is with me. Whether then it was I or they, so they preached, and so you believed. Brothers and sisters, friends, uh, maybe even from various different parts of the country or even further afield, uh, and to friends in Costa Rica, I um, welcome you here this morning. Trust that you know God's goodness to you day by day, and that even this morning's message, as well as this service, would be of great blessing to us. Shall I pray and then Steve is going to make a few announcements as he has been doing the past few weeks uh, and then we will sing our resurrection song. See what a morning. Let's pray together. Our God and Father we thank you and we bless you that you are a God who uh, is the resurrection God. You are the one who brought your son the Lord Jesus Christ back from uh, the dead and raised him to life. Life eternal. Thank you Lord that we are told in 1 Corinthians 15, that he is the last Adam, and that just as he died and rose again, so those in him will die, but will rise again. Thank you for that truth, our Father. We pray that you would have your hand on all that we do today, that you would be glorified, and even as a result of this morning, that men and women, boys and girls, would come to know you and love you. In your name. Amen. Well, we welcome you to our Easter Sunday service and we thank you for joining with us as we rejoice and celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Well, this short video you're about to see uh, will share some of the encouragements we've seen over the past few weeks and some of the notices for the week to come. Since launching our YouTube channel four weeks ago, our videos have been watched over 1,500 times. Last week's sermon on YouTube and DVD has been seen around 75 times. Of course, the number of people watching it will be higher, as often we watch with others. So it gives us much encouragement that so many people are tuning in to see what is going on at the terrace. Currently, our channel has 37 subscribers, meaning that they will be notified when new videos are posted. Subscribing is free. All you have to do is click on the red subscribe button and you will know whenever we add something new. On our YouTube channel currently you will find our Sunday services, along with two other video series. Ashley has been reflecting upon the Psalms of Ascent in a series called Songs for the Way. Videos are on our channel for Psalms 120 to 122, and next Wednesday we'll be publishing Psalm 123. For fun, we're also setting weekly tasks in our Terrace 2-Minute Task series. The latest is a challenge involving a mug and a tea bag, but I'll let you watch the video to find out more. Over the past week, two home groups have met online, one using Skype and the other using a system called Zoom. 
It's good to meet up and pray with others, even if it is over the internet. If you're not sure how to Skype or Zoom, let us know and we'll try to help you. If you're watching and have children, I'd like to remind you that we're using Sparks as a Sunday School resource. Not surprisingly this week, we're looking at Easter. To find out more, please go to gracelight.uk and you'll find a link to click on. Well, let's continue our worship as we sing together our first hymn, See What a Morning. <laughs> 